Hello, my name is Bob Bobbington, and I have a fan theory for you. Why am I whispering? So, this is my first fan theory I'm going to do. I just like this. The ones I really like, I'm just going to put on YouTube when I was in it all. So, warning, this video has spoilers. So, if you haven't seen all of Walking Dead or all of Stranger Things which is the two shows I'm going to be covering in this fan theory that I created. I uh, Trust me, I created I searched it on YouTube, and there's nothing there. So, my first... So, this is the first video for it. Ow, ow, my chin, my majestic my chin. So, yeah, if you have not seen all of Walking Dead or all the Stranger Things, this video has spoilers for you. Do not watch if you don't want spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, well, watch it. Yes, watching. So, um, my fan theory is Stranger Things is a prequel to Walking Dead. Da, 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 da. But trust me, the evidence is everywhere. Oh, and this is kind of stupid, but I think that Jonathan Byers from Stranger Things is Negan from Walking Dead. The reason why uh, I don't really have any evidence, except that it, that he used the spiked baseball bat as a weapon of choice when he was fighting the monster. Huh, Negan uses his baseball bat with barbed wire as a weapon of choice when fighting zombies and survivors. And his dad, even though something could just be about the actors... His dad, Jonathan Byers' dad, does look a lot like Negan. So maybe Jonathan Byers will grow more and he'll inherit that Negan look. Hmm. And Negan is a psychopath, right? Huh? Everyone's favorite psychopath, Negan. So yeah, and Jonathan Byers said in Stranger Things that his dad made him kill a rabbit when he was 10 years old. And then he cried for a long time. Except maybe he got in over it and then he likes killing. And then he turned into a psychopath. So yeah. And my other theory is the upside down from Stranger Things is the future. After Walking Dead. After that took place and after all the zombies are dead and the humans are dead. Except for a couple. The, the monster from Stranger Things is a walker. It's the evolved, la all the humans are dead. It's the final evolution of a walker, and it's the last one left. That'll explain how it's eating everybody. I mean, it's eating everybody. Seriously. I cannot believe nobody came up with this. It's probably somebody did, but it's not on YouTube. And if it's not on YouTube, I want to be the first YouTube person to come up with this. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, look. The... Walk, it kind of just looks like a mutant walker. Like, it's a walker. Doesn't it? I mean, the monster could be the final evolution of a walker. And then when Eleven finally kills it, she's killing last walker. Ending Walking Dead. Ending Walking Dead. Maybe that's how Walking Dead will end, with Eleven killing the walker. So what I'm thinking is that they're actually going forward a lot in time when um, they go into the Upside Down world and Eleven's powers are able to open up a portal to the future. Yeah, not to another dimension, not the Veil of Shadows or whatever they came up with, but to the future. And, 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 isn't it kind of odd that in Stranger Things... Um, Rick, I mean, not in Stranger Things, in Walking Dead, Rick, when he wakes up from a coma, he finds out the zombies, he's not, well, he is a little bit, but he's not like, oh my gosh, the zombies, ah! Ah! he's just like, okay, the zombies, I'm scared, um, there's a zombie that's half and half, there's a zombie that's got its legs ripped off, and I'm gonna ride a bike, and then get hit in the face, so yeah, that, that, that seems weird, so maybe, the sheriff from Stranger Things, Sharf, I call him Sharf because I cannot say sh sheriff, sh sheriff, I call him Sheriff or Sharf, I, I, that's how I say sheriff. He 
worked with Rick. That is what I'm saying. Pretty good fan theory, right? And that's how Rick knows. Rick is use. Rick hears all the stories, and then when he finally finds out that there's like a monsters and stuff, when he finally finds out there's monsters and stuff, he's just. He's heard all the stories, even though he probably doesn't think they're true. Then when he finds them, he's like, oh, maybe the guy was telling the truth. Uh, well, cool. Now I'm already prepared for monsters. Ha ha. Yeah. Yep, That that's my fan theory. It's not that good. I made it out myself, I'm pretty sure. Unless someone on something else that's not YouTube made it up. Or someone else made it up, but they didn't put it on YouTube. It is my theory. It's not that good. It's just one that I kind of believe. And and when you think of it, it kind of seems pretty cool. So, yeah. I guess it is. Hello. <laughs> it's not bye-bye. It's hello.